Morning, Frosty. Your body's still on backwards? Or is it your head that's on backwards? There's the buttons. <laughs> so I wanted to show you something that our realtor that sold our house got us. Isn't this nice? A nice doormat for our front door, customized. So nice. It's a Christmas gift. Weasel, did you see it? You see it? Rick just bought us tickets to Canada's Winter Wonderland. Apparently they were trying to cancel it this year, but there was a big petition that went out. Why would you cancel an outdoor event in which people stay in their vehicles safely? Are they just trying to collapse everything? I don't know. They tried to cancel or they banned churches from doing drive-in services where you could just go and park in the parking lot and stay in your own vehicle. And then they tried to ban a winter festival, which you pretty much, you just drive through. It's like a light show, Christmas light show. You just drive through it. You stay in your vehicle. You never get out. Yeah, exactly. Something, yeah, that's what I mean. They don't know what they're doing. I don't know what's going no on. They have no idea. I swear they're trying to collapse our economy. Well, they're trying to collapse everything. Just take away all fun. But anyways, they reopened it. So that's the good news. It opens on the 12th. Usually it would open on November, what was it? November 21st. But it's not opening till December 12th now. But it goes till January 2nd. So there's no specific ticket date, which is really, really nice. I just purchased it and you can show up anytime with your ticket. So that's Saturday, right? Uh, yeah, it opens Saturday. It opens and then Saturday. It goes till the 2nd. So we're going to go and check it out whenever we can. We've always wanted to go see it. We planned on going last year and the year before. And we never did. So it's time. Do you guys want to go for a run? Oh, I think so. Apparently Chevy bows when he says yes. And Diesel just tap dances. Does he want to go for a run? Want to go to the spot? Should we check it out? Should we go check out Oma and Opa's new land too? Maybe. My mom and dad just bought some land. Or at least they, they put an offer in and it got accepted. Uh, and it's right by our place. I was talking about it yesterday just a little bit. Didn't go too deep into it. But I figured I'd go sniff around a little bit more today while we're down there. And see what it's all about. It's actually a bigger plot than we got, but uh, it's going to be real cool having them nearby. Hopefully everything goes smoothly. And uh, I don't know when they're planning to start building or what they're planning on doing with it, but <laughs> hopefully we'll be able to find out soon. Let's go take a look. Release the hounds! Got that crispy crunch to it right now. 
Diesel's paws are so sensitive. It's, it's cuts open his paws a little bit. Gotta be so careful with them. So he's going into the vehicle for a little bit of a break. Chevy, your paws okay? A little bit tougher than Diesel's, eh? So mom and dad bought some land pretty much right behind us. So we might have to go and uh, rename this to Trucker Town very soon. <laughs> so I know my dad has talked about wanting to build a shop, which would be pretty cool. So we'd have somewhere to tinker on stuff, work on things right close by. Diesel, you stay, stay. Chevy, come on. So the original plan was to build a shop on our old property where we were there before. But once we decided to sell, we sort of had to adjust our plans a little bit. And uh, dad still would like a shop to tinker around in once he comes off the road. I'm pretty sure that, I don't know if he's ever gonna quit completely. It's, it's hard to quit trucking, believe me. <laughs> it's, uh, it's something that you'll probably always wanna be involved with. And if he has a shop, at least then he can tinker on his stuff. And he's got a lot of tools. I've shown you them before. He's got every tool known to mankind and he needs somewhere to put them. <laughs> so if he has a lot, then he can build a shop and he can have all his tools in there. And it's just down the street from me. So I can Convenient. Use... Convenient. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's exciting. Uh, I guess once these lockdowns are over, we can actually go and visit and figure out what their what their plans are completely with it. All right, guys. You little guys, you held the fort. I'm proud of you. Didn't burn the house down. That's good. So, I want to show you guys something out here. We have a garbage situation here. Where we have our garbage bins out here, but obviously they fill with water, or even if we have the lids on there, kind of looks meh, right out here. What we want to do is we want to build a garbage enclosure here. Britt has some ideas on Pinterest. Believe me, she probably has thousands. We're gonna see what we can put together and start doing a few woodworking projects around the house. Hey Chevy, that means we get to use power tools. Ooh. So I've always wanted to try woodworking a little more. My dad is really good at it. My cousin Chris is really good at it. My friend, cousin, Will, friend, cousin, my cousin, My cousin Will is really good at it. All I need to do is just figure out how to do it and get good at it. And I've never really had the time because I've always been gone all the time. I've never been able to do anything but that. And now that I'm home more, I'm hoping that maybe I can start trying my hand at a few other things. And Britt has Pinterest or pin pinned Pinterests by the dozens here. I'm just looking at other ideas when I was thinking something mm -hmm. like that. Oh yeah, see something like this for in front of the house? Mm-hmm. Okay. Not in front, to the side. Well, on the side there, yeah, where I was showing them. That's the front to me. Yeah, I finally have the time to do these things, so I figure why not? I've been sort of wondering what my purpose is here lately. When I don't have uh, a, a specific time or a specific place to be at a certain time I get a little anxious and my head starts to spin I don't know why I guess just for so long I've always been go 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 all the time like constantly on the go and now when I have time to slow down it's what's going on well I don't know how much more of a vlog there will be today yet but uh little update on my grandpa's situation. He's been moved into comfort care. And uh, we're still hoping for a miracle that he will uh, get well again. But uh, they're only allowing two members of the family to be there with him, so two of his six kids. And uh, it sounds like he's ready to go home 
and be with grandma. Not sure what'll happen yet, but uh, it's kind of hitting me hard tonight, so I'm not sure how much more uh, vlogging will get done. But uh, Britt has gone out to get us some snacks. I guess we're gonna have a bit of a movie night or something. And uh, we'll see, see what happens from here. But it seems like he's ready. Uh, if, if it's his time, it seems like he's ready. So his condition declined and uh, he doesn't want to take any more meds and doesn't want his IV in anymore. I mean, it sounds like he wants to go home, but we're still hoping for a, a miracle recovery yet while he's in comfort care. But Hasn't been much of a day because uh, on the vlogger, because this has been weighing on my heart the last couple of days already as we knew that this might be an uh, might be what they're gonna move towards <sighs> and, uh, <laughs> they sent me a couple of pictures of him now on his on his bed there he's resting comfortably right now it just started to hit me real real hard so <sighs> life life is Every, all good things come to an end, right? But there's still a little bit of hope. We'll see what happens in the next few days. But if he's ready, he's ready. We don't even get to go and say goodbye or anything because of this whole mess the world's in right now. But he knows that we're here. I'm close by. I'm just down the street. And... Uh, you know, he's about to, if, if he's ready, if it's his time, he's going to go to a much better place. A place where all of these crazy things aren't going on. And the world is right side up. The streets are made of gold. And Grandma's waiting for him, so. <laughs> Don't mean to bring you guys down a little bit, but this is just sort of where we're at today. See what happens. I might film a little bit more later on tonight yet, but if not, I hope you guys do have a, a good night, and uh, we'll talk to you again tomorrow. I'll check in with you guys again tomorrow, and uh, fill you in on where, where everything's at, but I may not feel like talking much this evening yet. We'll see. We'll see you guys tomorrow, if I don't talk to you again tonight.